How you guys doing? Welcome back to Beat Peace Pro Wrestling Corner right here. Thank you for joining us. This is your NXT review for this past week. And what an NXT it was because this is the go-home show. Not only the NXT TakeOver, but Survivor Series this weekend. Yeah. And uh, man, I'm going to tell you what, dude. I would not. I was not expecting this first match. Becky Lynch came out. She showed up on NXT. Remember, Triple H said, doors wide open. Whether it be SmackDown Superstars, Raw Superstars. So Becky Lynch took him up on his offer. So the women's Raw Women's Champion shows up on NXT. Uh, and uh, she's running her mouth about Shayna Baszler. About what's going to happen and stuff. And there's a triple threat thing going on. And out comes uh, to challenger is uh, Rhea Ripley. Yeah. What a match, dude. I thought it was a great match. I gave it three stars. It could have been, been better, but of course... When you have DQs and interference, I don't like it. Yeah, that's I'll, what happens. I don't know what to rate it. I, I want to give it more, but I'll just stick to three, I guess. Like you said, DQ finish. But I also get it. This is Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley. Yeah. This match could be put on a WrestleMania card somewhere. It really probably. could because both these women are really great. Rhea Ripley's awesome, dude. So, She's the first ever UK Women's Champion is Rhea Ripley. So. Yeah, and so since they had no time to really bill it or anything, you know, like... See, man, that's the best kind. When you throw a person that's never been against this other person before in their life, you throw them in a ring together, holy crap. Yeah, man. but there should be a lead up to it. There if should wanna, be. If you want to make the most money, the most attention, the most ratings, you got to. You should have something leading up right. to it. Let's match it in DQ. Like we said, uh, Shannon Baszler and her girls came out, Shafir and uh, Duke, and they, you know, they came out to, and they uh, just. Took out Ripley and Becky Lynch both. And it looked like they're at the end. Rhea, Ripley, and Becky Lynch kind of like working together just for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of the undisputed, I'm sorry, undisputed women's <laughs> champion and her buddies. But anyway, yeah. So that's what happened there. Uh, next up, man, uh, I have written here, Keona, or, yeah, Keona Reeves was supposed to be in this next Any match against. For Keona? Yeah. Keanu Reeves, I don't know, but Kona Reeves is supposed to be in this match against Matt Riddle coming up, which, uh, you know, it was kind of weird, but Ricochet comes out and jumps Keanu Reeves from behind. <laughs> that was which, awesome. Which, yeah, <laughs> it was, uh, it was uncharacteristic like a Ricochet, you know, he's, he's on Raw, but man, that was pretty awesome to see him do it. Yeah. And uh, he took out Connor Reeves and he jumps in the ring and he says, heck, well, I'm going to take on Matt Riddle. And that's exactly what the hell happened. Four star match to me, man. Absolutely, I agree it, there. It was fucking awesome. I, I I thought it was a great match. I, I think if he gave it more time, he, I mean, it's it could have been it. better. Yeah. But also, uh, you know, and I'm gonna tell you what, man. Fair and square. There was actually a pinfall here. Matt Riddle picked up the victory against Ricochet. Holy crap! Good for him. Uh, but you know, SmackDown comes out after the end of the match. Yeah. You got Cesaro, uh, Shinsuke. They came out. They showed up. And they uh, did a little bit of work on both these guys. And uh, also, Finn Balor shows up. Jumps on Matt Riddle. Because you know they got a match coming up. Uh, NXT TakeOver here Saturday. Yeah. So, yeah. They're very entertaining. Um, definitely just a lot of Survivor Series tie-ins on this show. Yeah. I'm going to tell you very entertaining matches. The next match, dude. Tag team match. Undisputed Era taking on My Boys Revival. Holy crap, dude. Awesome, awesome match. I give it five stars. I loved the match. I thought it was awesome. It was long, but it was great. Yeah, I think I think both teams went on one hour match. I'm going to give this my first ever six stars. This was impressive. There you go, Just, man. Just uh, a clinic on tag team wrestling. Right it was probably the best tag team match of, I, I've seen in a long time. And that's, I've seen a lot, man. But I'm yeah. telling you, these, these two teams, man, I just the air. I love them. I love the Revival. They're like... Well, uh, you know, Tony and Arn to me, I love them guys. I think the revival came out and they they said, "Hey, we should have been on this match all along. We should have never lost a new day." And you know what? They fucking proved it. I thought, regardless, yeah. even though Undisputed did pick up the victory here, but it didn't matter. To me. It's just unfortunate the revival never got the the push or the credit to deserve. I'm gonna on, tell you what: if the revival ends now. up leaving WWE, Vince, I'm telling you, they're 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 gonna be hurting. I'm telling you. They do not want to lose these guys to either AEW or whatever because Revival is a good team, man. There's something special. They need to keep them around. And yeah, uh, these guys could have fought forever, and I probably would have never lost interest. Oh, my God. I yeah, thought they absolutely. were going to play forever. 
That was great. It was great to see both teams fight. I loved it. Five star match for me. You gave it a six. That's fantastic, dude. Yeah. Man. So it's whatever. Next up, man, uh, uh, it was a woman singles match. Dakota Kai, her brain, I don't know where the hell her brain's at lately since she's got kicked off the NXT team and uh, BAM took her place. But Kaylee Ray and her go one on one here. Kaylee Ray is a UK women's champion. And, uh, I gave this match three stars. It was good. It was, you know, Dakota Kai, we know her. Kaylee Ray, she's a UK champion. That's probably why I gave her three stars. Because you got the UK champion there. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, Kaylee Ray wins the match. She beats Dakota Kai. And, and thus further showing why Dakota Kai is not on any of these teams. And she can be pissed off all she wants, but that's exactly why. And she's just been, she is on a losing streak, dude. I don't know what's yeah. wrong with her, but she has not been winning at all. I'm not really a big fan of her anyway, so I don't really care. It's, if you but, don't know who she is, she's Team Kick with uh, Tegan Knox, I think, is on her team. So Yeah, yeah. Right, I love Tegan. I yeah, I love Tegan, Tegan too. I love Dakota. Uh, right. Kind of like a B Bailey's younger sister type. <laughs> right. Uh, well, I give it three stars, too. Not yeah. much there. In this match, uh, Raw Women's and SmackDown Women all showed up in this match leading up to their Survivor Series match coming up, you know what I'm saying? The big, uh, I think Sasha's doing uh, SmackDown, yeah. uh, Charlotte's on Raw, and of course... Uh, NXT to be denounced. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we don't know. We thought for sure we'd find out answers here. AJ Lee, Team Captain, NXT, who knows? I doubt that, but <laughs> I wouldn't get good. I'm going to say... AJ Lee, Molina, uh, Layla, <laughs> Undertaker's wife, Michelle McCool, they're all showing back up. Lee to Trish, who knows? I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and just... It, it's probably Rhea Ripley leading the team. It just makes the most sense. Yeah, because it can't be Shannon, because Shannon, Shannon's got a match. Yep. So, it can't be Shannon and Darren Despires says, so yeah. It might be, I think Rhea Ripley probably will be the captain of, uh, but we don't know yet because would, NXT has not yeah. asked none of the team, so. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't know what's going to happen there. But anyway, next up, man, uh, another great tag team match. God, man, these guys, uh, it's not, I mean, we all know the Viking Raiders are awesome. You know, but the Forgotten Sons, man, holy crap. These guys are a good team, too. They yeah. put on, you know, they one hell of a match, man. Four stars for me. Going against the Viking Raiders, fantastic, dude. Yeah, I, I'll go four stars here as well. And NXT just knows how to do like a good wrestling match, which we haven't really seen much on the main roster. On the main roster stuff, which you know, I know NXT is main roster, but whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? On Raw and SmackDown, the matches just don't tend to be as good or entertaining. There's always some kind of gimmick to them. What is different from what they're doing on NXT? Than what they're doing on Raw and SmackDown. What? Why is no one waking up over on SmackDown or Raw and saying, "Holy crap, NXT was good again"? Yeah. Why can't we do our shows like this? What is going on here? Yeah. They, they need to wake up. Triple H is yeah. did a phenomenal job and is doing a phenomenal job for NXT, but Vince just can't get the shit together over on the main roster no, or and, and right the now other brands. And supposedly he's pissed off Triple H isn't beating AEW on a weekly basis. Uh, which, uh, which this SmackDown week, and Raw wouldn't touch AEW yeah. on a weekly basis. Yeah, SmackDown and Raw came and tie AEW as shoestrings. I don't think SmackDown and Raw would get the viewership that NXT is if they were competing head to head with AEW. I'm going to be honest with you, man. SmackDown and Raw couldn't beat RCW's ratings. How about that shit right there? That's another hit for you there, and Mr. Rick Most Lee. of you out there are probably wondering what is an RCW? <laughs> right. Well, so. Rubber City Wrestling, if you guys don't know who that is. But anyway, uh,. <sighs> The Viking Raiders did pick up the win here. Uh, so, you know, the Forgotten Sons are a fantastic team. You know, just like the Revival, fantastic team. Yeah, great you know. team. Uh, I think with the Viking Raiders, the name change I thought really hurt them. Vince, mind your own fucking business. You don't like the word war. Ooh, war. shut up. The War Raiders. Uh, uh, and, and second, I'm tired of watching these guys squash a bunch of local jobbers. Yeah. I mean, maybe when they come to Cleveland, we can see Rick Lee get squashed, and that'd be great. But uh, other than that, I, I don't really. Poking that beer. <laughs> Poking that beer, Rick. Poking yeah. that beer on you. Uh, but anyway. But yeah, I just love to see them in competitive matches like we did. Yeah. Next match, man, a ladder match. Another great, fantastic match. Five stars for me. 
Double D, Dominic Dijakovic going against Mr. Adam Cole. And whoever won this match gets their the the, team the advantage. advantage. Yeah. The advantage on uh, NXT War Games here, man. And that's exactly what happened. Don't mind this. This is for something else. I actually wrote it on the wrong page. Oh, but anyway, <laughs> what happened here was Adam Cole did pick up the victory. Five-star match. But after this match is over with, all hell breaks loose. Yeah. Raw, um, SmackDown, NXT. We knew it. Triple H sent out the uh, the challenge. That's SmackDown exactly. SmackDown and Raw tried to answer. I believe NXT stood their ground and, you know. Exactly, totally. But uh, for me, that match, I'd say four stars. I felt like it could have went longer. Um, just and anything that had to follow the Revival match, that was just... Man, that should have been your main event. I thought it should have been <laughs> the way it ended, man. I, I understand why it wasn't. I understand why Adam Cole and Dajakovic would be the main yeah. event. Yeah, these both be I'm telling you, both them guys are awesome too, man. But uh, the rival, the rival on the Undisputed Era, put on one hell of a match, dude. Oh, it's fucking amazing. I love yeah. it. Great, great showing for both teams. Yeah, I love the way Adam Cole picked up the victory too. He was in the briefcase to knock out Dajakovic. Absolutely, it was At awesome. The top of the ladder, yeah. yeah. And man, he he was way he hit. The, he fell back into yeah. that, back back on that ladder, and smashed it. Great advantage, dude. So it's kind of like a double advantage. How how healthy can Dijakovic be now? We're gonna find out because what what if he can't show up and compete? That's why they're saying to be announced. But takeover still around the corner. I think Double D is inside of takeover. Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is He's he, on Champa's uh, team. Yeah, Champa Lee and. Riddle, no. Uh, Riddle's taking on Finn Balor. Yeah, it's four. The fourth has yet to be announced on Ciampa's team. That's right. So so we got three. We got Keith Lee, Dijakovic, and Ciampa versus the Undisputed Era coming up. Four I think they're games. holding out for a return with either Velveteen or Gargano, but for okay. my, la my last thing I've heard about Velveteen is he's probably not back till January. And I have yet to really hear about Gargano's injury. I don't know. So I I tell you what, let me get a hold of Mr. Rick Lee of CPs in Chicago because he might be the fourth member. I don't know. Oh man, I was really <laughs> looking forward to takeover too. <laughs> <laughs> We're especially the Rick. We love you, dog. But anyway, yeah, great, great showing. Uh, man, you know NXT is looking. At, NXT War Games is looking to be fantastic, dude. I can't wait to see what happens. Uh, it's just gonna be great. So th this is your go home show. To take over War Games and your Survivor Series and for NXT. Possibly a, the greatest show I've seen in a while. Great show. Um, and they actually beat AEW this week. Yeah. Go figure out that. Not I, by much, but they did beat them. TV ratings and in Skippy rating, because this, this show was the first time a WWE product has beaten Absolutely. AEW. Absolutely. For uh, me, yeah. anyway. Then uh, I thought it was great. I thought it was great all around. But anyway, man, we'd like to thank you guys for joining us here right here on the corner. Uh, just please like, and, uh, remember, share, subscribe, comments, comments, whatever. Some comments. Yes, hit that post notification button. And I did see your message there. I forgot what your name is, but I know you said something. I'll put video clips in there. We're gonna try to do a little something, something like that. I don't know if it's gonna be this video or what, but uh, thanks a lot for uh, commenting. Uh, oh, dang, I wish I had your name down. I would uh, uh, called you out. But anyway, I appreciate you guys' comments, and please uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that post notification button so you can see all of me and Skippy's videos. And uh, yeah, man, until next time, we'll see you guys right here on the corner, man.